हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई सेल्फ विकास निचल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी गोइंग टू सी स्टडी एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इनफाइनाइट इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स फिल्टर ओके सो दिस इज अ मैट लैब सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट द आई आर फिल्टर इन मैट लैब सो फर्स्ट आई विल ओपन द स्क्रिप्ट फाइल दैट इज नथिंग बट एडिटर विंडो so this is the editor window now i will start the program first i will write clc then clear all then close all so before that i want to write the heading study and implementation implementation Just minute. Implementation of I I R means infinite impulse response filter. So then C L C for clear the command window, clear all for clear the workspace, and close all for close the figure window. Okay. Next line. I once again I can write percentage. first there are basically there are different methods of infinite impulse response like bilinear transformation then impulse invariance method then z transformation method then match filter derivative filter so there are different uh, types of infinite impulse response so but we going to apply the bilinear transformation and impulse invariance method so first i will take by linear trans transformation in short is nothing but blt for for designing of ir filter so basically uh, to design any bilinear transformation or infinite impulse response basically the ir is nothing but to design a digital filter so already we know that we can't design a digital filter directly so what is the step first we have to design a analog filter so analog filter is nothing but we have to find out the transfer function that is nothing but h of s if you know about the h of s basically if you know about the h of s then you can design a digital filter so uh, first we have to take the numerator and denominator as per the transfer function so i will define numerator is equal to input in bracket i can write enter enter numerator coefficient equal so at the command window it will define enter numerator coefficient same way denominator that's den is equal to input bracket again enter denominator coefficient equal to. okay so when we run this program uh, the in command window it will show enter the numerator coefficient and enter the denominator coefficient now we have to define some frequency sampling frequency that is f is equal to 5 now basically in matlab we have a direct command like bz space az Is equal B Z and A Z is nothing but that transfer function of H of S will convert into the Z domain. So that's why we have taken B Z and A Z is equal to the, there is directly command is available. Name of that command is nothing but by linear in bracket numerator comma denominator comma frequency. So through this command we can directly find out the H of Z. So that is nothing but digital filter. coefficient or digital filter transfer function so there is no need to define any other 
condition so now i will click on the run so the matlab will ask to save this program so i can store this program at a particular location so now i can define experiment 12 now you can check click on change folder or add to path now you can see the matlab command is ask for asking for enter numerator coefficient now you can enter any numerator coefficient basically uh, for ir filter i have the the one as a numerator coefficient now two space one now these are two one is nothing but denominator coefficient now you can see it's a bz and az so these are nothing but that is a numerator coefficient in z transform or digital filter that is h of z equal to numerator divided by denominator so this is a numerator coefficient in h of z domain and this is a denominator coefficient in h of z so likewise you can also write the program for in impulse impulse invariance method for you can write impulse invariance for for designing of ir filter so once again i can write for there is no need to uh, take numerator and denominator once again so already we have taken the numerator and denominator and frequency so just we have to change the command so once again we know that we know that the bilinear transformation is also used for the uh, sorry impulse invariance is also used for to convert z domain uh, yes domain equation into z domain so this is so just we have to change the command and i have to change the output argument where here we have taken bz az so here i have taken bz1 az1 so now i can write i am p i n v a r numerator comma denominator comma f so this is all about the uh, impulse invariance method so this is the direct command available in matlab so you can find out the uh, h of z or you can design a ir filter okay now once again i can run this so comma in command window it showing enter numerator position so i can enter 1 and 2 1 now you can see these are nothing but bz az is nothing but numerator coefficient for bilinear transformation this is numerator coefficient in denominator sorry it's a denominator coefficient in bilinear transformation bz1 is nothing but numerator coefficient in uh, for impulse invariance method and this az1 is nothing but denominator coefficient in impulse invariance method so like this is very easy to convert or to design any digital filter by using inbuilt command window like bilinear and impulse invariance so just you have to to take some input the input is nothing but numerator coefficient and denominator so basically we have taken h of s equation okay so we have taken h of s equation if you know about the h of s then you can design a any ir filter okay so just you have to convert that s domain into the z domain by using a mapping technique so the same thing is happen behind the bilinear and impulse invariance command just that particular methods converting that s domain equation into the z domain by using their formulas so here we have taken by using a matlab so that's why we have taken inbuilt command but if you want to design theoretically in that case you must familiar with the some formulas then and then only you can design a ir filter okay so i hope you like this video if you like then please subscribe and share my channel
and if you have any doubt then also you can comment on video so thank you once again